In this video, we are going to see how to create an infographic. So as based on our presentation, which I have provided, uh, you can see that we have a color palette link over here with the name of colorhunt.co. So I just copied this colorhunt.co from here. And in my Chrome, I just typed colorhunt.co over here. So out of this, I just wanted to select one of these colors. So I clicked on this specific color and it will lead me here. You can see that all the colors are provided over here and I have uh, RGB of those colors over here. So, so I wanted to change the background for this specific space. I just selected the space and I can see that RGB is 25, 25, 25. So I went to uh, fill color, more colors, custom and I'm going to type 25, 25, 25. Okay, so you can see that your color palette is created. I wanted to create a title over here. I just click insert, insert, and we have shapes, shapes, we have title. So I'm going to type the title uh, life expectancy infographic. And because it is in black, I just wanted to change the color of this specific uh, text box. I have change the size of that specific color I can make it bold I can place it wherever I want it to do and I'm going to provide the narration for this specific infographic so I'm going to insert shape and uh, in this info and I'm going to select all and why infographic we are going to discuss life expectations of different regions and reasons behind it. So I have typed a narration which will actually explain my infographic. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to select the next section over here and I wanted to do another color palette from here. So I can see that I have a color palette with the label 220s. Uh, that is 117, 14, and 33. 117, 14, 33. I went to over here. 117, 14, 33. So you can see that uh, I have selected this color. And I wanted to paste a chart over here. So US and Pakistan. So US life expectancy is 79 years. Pakistan's life expect expectancy is uh expectancy is uh, 67 years i've selected all of these guys and we have learned that we have a shortcut key with the name of alt f1 so i'm going to select all of these places and press alt f1 you can see that i have created a chart over here which have us and pakistan and the title is life expectancy what i wanted to do is i wanted to remove the grid lines I just just selected the grid lines and remove delete then I also wanted to remove this y-axis I have deleted this y-axis from on the background I wanted to remove the background I have chart style I can just right click over here and go to format chart area you can see that we have a fill color I have selected no fill I can also go to uh, just select this go to format and shape fill no fill Similarly, shape outline, no outline. Now I wanted to change the title of this specific uh, chart. I've selected the title, change the color, change the font size, bold. Now I wanted to add a data label. I just right click and add data label. You can see that data label is added over here. I just selected this data label, made it white, bold, a little bit bigger. And I want this thing to appear at the top uh, of the chart. So what I can do is I just click over here. In chart options, I have option over here. Inside and I have selected inside and And you can see that both of these guys are picking it inside and If I click on inside base, it will place on both of these guys inside base. I wanted to change the color of the chart. I just selected the color. I can go to format and change the color to whatever color I want. So I think I wanted to go with this color. So now our first section is built over here, the name of 
title and narration then the second section is over here with the chart so I'm now, now I'm going to add more icons and stuff at the below that so I just selected this area now I'm coming to the color palette and I wanted to select this color that is uh, 227-101-29 227-101-29 so I just go 227-101-29 so I just selected the color and paste the color over here now I wanted to paste a few icons over here insert uh, illustration we have an option with the name of icons I can select any icon over here so I wanted to type food enter so you can see that all the icons which are related to food is appearing over here so I'm going to select this specific icon insert you can see an icon is inserted over here so and I, I can change the color of this specific graphic I am changing it to white now I'm going to type that uh, food is a, has an impact on the life expectancy so I'm going to go to shape tags pivotal impact on life expectancy so I can create our charts and uh, things like that I'm just going to make it more big for the white now I wanted to align both of these guys I've just selected this in the graphic for uh, in the shape format we have aligned and in align we have uh, an option with the name of align middle as soon as I click over here it will automatically align both of those guys I have selected these two things and in uh, shape format I just grouped them so you can see that both of those guys are grouped now I can select this copy paste control C copy paste control C copy paste so I have three items available over here now I can actually align all of these guys just selected all of three three of them with shift I just went to align distribute horizontally then I'm going to align align tops so you can see that it is appearing over here now I'm going to change the text of all of these guys so you can see that we have created uh, like put it icons from here and put it some uh, text uh, in front of icons so now I'm going to uh, uh, create another section and I'm going to go to the palette and in palette I can see that we have the last section that is 190 to 1584 190 to 1584 so I'm going to home uh, more color custom uh, 190 to 1584 so I can just click ok and you can see that it's this section is created so earlier we have created icons, uh, collected icons from Excel. What you can do is you can just go to uh, uh, Internet and go to Flat Icons, which will provide you a great repository of icons here. You can also go to uh, FreePick.com and you can search files from here also. So you can search for health, for example, health clip. And clip art is basically mostly uh, uh, not picture but clip art so you can see that health clip art are coming over here so I can just select this and if I wanted to download I can click download free download and you can see that it is downloaded over here I can just select insert illustration picture uh, from file I, just, I don't want to uh, insert it uh, in the cell so I have selected over and I can see in the downloads folder I have that image available I just downloaded that image we can uh, reduce the size either by dragging dropping from the corner or we have size over here we can just reduce size from here so 3 inches so you can see that it is uh, coming from the web and you can download anything from the web so in this specific video we have learned that how to create an infographic out of uh, excel and we have used background color text boxes charts icons and narrations thank you so much